What's good, beautiful people? Um, for this video, I will be showing you how to create one of my Serenity portals. What that is, is like a six point mandala um, with a little kaleidoscope action is the best way I can describe it. <clears throat> but what you'll need for this design, you'll need a marker, some B55 bowstring. Um, I'll leave the link in the description to where to get some of this. You can also use any cord that you can wrap up, but this stuff does work the best in my opinion or in my experience. <clears throat> and you'll need a protractor and any straight edge. So um, all that stuff can be found pretty easy um, to get going. So those are the materials you'll need. <clears throat> From here, you're going to need to mirror the shirt. So you'll have to take this sleeve and push it through the other sleeve, and I'll demonstrate how to do that. You can mark off your center points. I've done it so much where I have it down um, at pretty good, but uh, what you do is you want to take your arm and reach it through the neck hole, grab that sleeve, pull it through. And then you're going to want to take your hand out, put it through that sleeve you just tucked in, and you're going to take this sleeve, tuck it right through the other end. I usually line up the seams here. And then from there, I will... I'm not sure how this is going to look on video, but now both of the sleeves are on top of each other. And once that's done, I usually give it a good shake, get everything centered. I'll put my other arm back through both sleeves. And now I use this seam right here on top of the shirt to make sure it's lined up um, in the center where it needs to be. I'll go in and I'll match the stitching up. <clears throat> From there, I straighten out the collar. Give it a couple good more shakes. And now you have a separate front piece and a separate back piece um, for this shirt. I got to straighten it out a little bit more, but um, this way the designs can be completely different on the front and back. And then I like to spread the shirt out. So this is the front of the shirt now, and this is the back of the shirt. Make sure all that's straight. I like to line the where the arm holes up, get everything nice and tight. And then I'll take the center line of the back, center line of the front, match those up. I'm gonna try to do this on camera, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So then I'll take this part of the shirt after I have them lined up here, and I'll stick my arm in there I can't do it on camera, sorry guys, but it took me a second to figure out. There's other, some other artists that uh, I think have videoed that a little, a little better, but and then I'll grab the front of the shirt, the center line, run my hand right down that back edge here so that it straightens everything out. We're going to be pulling these apart pretty good anyways. Uh, all right, cool. So from here, we need to find our center point of the shirt. And I typically go right under the armpit for most sizes. Some sizes are different just because the length of the shirt. Um, you need to make the adjustments. So I take that center point, you take your marker, just mark off a little point. From there, you grab your protractor and we're gonna do 
six points on the kaleidoscope mandala. Um, I'm calling them the, the serenity portal. Uh, and so in order to get your degrees that you need for any mandala, how, if you want 12 points or 18 points or six points or eight points or seven points, you simply uh, divide 180 by the amount of points that you want on your mandala. And that will give you the proper degrees on the protractor. For this one, we're doing 30 degrees, um, which will get us uh, six points on this particular mandala. So take this, let me see. And you're gonna wanna take your center point of your protractor and line it up with that dot there. And then you also want to make sure that your line here at the bottom and your line here is lined up with the center of the shirt, like so. And then we'll just simply mark every 30 degrees. So 30, 60, 90, 120, and 150. Boom, now, oh, did I not do this? I guess I skipped 30. Oh shit, how did I do that? All right. 30. Oh, what? There we go. Next, you'll grab your ruler. I'm going to zoom out here. No, I guess I'm right. And guys, please don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button or subscribe and I'm not sure what else, but you need to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. <laughs>
12 or 18 points, it gets a little tricky um, getting these pleats together. So. So I basically just took my ruler, got it on that line, and now I can move everything. And one swoop. Fell swoop and now we're just about there. You can see. And I also, what I'll do is, in, without a ruler, when it gets a little um, towards the end, is I like to start at the tip of your mandala. Or your, and you're basically just going to pinch the sections that you already folded and lift up a little bit, and that'll start to fold the material down. But you can see that green line. And you just pinch it again, and you're going to follow the line all the way down and just kind of pull up there. And now you can see these are the each green line that I drew and there's also the other lines at the bottom of the fold. So once I get to this point, I only got one more fold left, I'll flip it over. And then we just, this is another fold line. We're gonna sit there and that's gonna be your bottom fold there. Boom, and now we should have uh, six equal parts. On top of, their, of each other. And then, oh, let me see, I guess I got a little away there. So now you can see all the layers there and I'm going to get them straightened up so these green lines are perfect at the top but and from here I'm just making sure all those green lines are perfectly at the top so I can see all of them flat here <clears throat> and now this is the fun part you can kind of just let your inspiration lead you wherever you want um, get into the flow of things and wherever your hands want to do just let them do. Um, that's the beauty of uh, channeling art, is that you can just let go and let the energy flow into the material. You don't really have to think about it too much. So now that we have a, these stacked right on top of each other, you're going to want to grab your string. You also can grab... Um, any clips if you want and clip these up and I, and I just use little hair clips or whatever um, all right and then from this point what we want to do is you want to take that center and you're kind of want to keep it make sure it's it's staying straight on you and you can fold it up any way you want honestly you can this is really however your hands take it but again try to make sure those petals are on top of each other and then i'll go ahead and just fold it again still making sure all the layers are on top of themselves i like to do maybe three folds and then from there i will grab my string you want to get these this locked off and locked in good so that your center stays. And I try to make my first tie come right over that center piece and over one of these back pieces here. And again, this is B55 bowstring. For those who've skipped through the front of the video, um, I also want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button share this tutorial with your friends the more interaction i get and the more people that are viewing this will give me the inspiration to make more i seen a video or a picture of my diamond tutorial um last night and i've been meaning to make a tutorial for you guys for some time now so that just gave me the inspiration to jump on here this morning and 
make this with y'all. So you want to get your the front of that tied down pretty good. And from here, you can remove the clips. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. You guys got to bear with me because this is my first video or second video. So I can't really see what's going on when I'm videotaping. <clears throat> but let me see if I can give this. You can see how that's all knotted up. Here's your center, your point. And now you're going to go ahead and um, tie this up pretty good. You can continue to make folds in here. And just make sure your layers are on top of themselves. That's all you got to really focus on at this point. We're going to give it a couple more ties up. And then we will, um, from there, go to the totem on the back. some more this um we'll tie this up more but right now i'm going to disconnect this string and move to the back just want to kind of get it locked in place so that you can go ahead and do the rest of it so all right so you can see our line we drew earlier and we're just going to start at the bottom this does not need to be perfect you will not see um, the difference in where your line was drawn. I try to uh, keep it as good as possible, but again, you will not notice if you don't, um, if you're not perfect on your line. So you just go ahead and pleat this up and you're basically just trying to line your lines up the best um, that you can. And also if you guys have any suggestions on designs you want to see done or anything like that, please leave me a comment in the comment section and I will try to um, do, make everyone's request. I, I really want to jump full into this YouTube channel in 2024. I think it's important that the knowledge that I have and knowledge others have is shared so this beautiful craft um not craft beautiful art form um can be expanded this isn't a craft uh, tie-dye has has been long um looked at as a, as a simple craft but it's really uh an artistic form that has taken on new levels over probably the past 10 years i'd say I've been in the game probably five now. Yeah, about five. And it was start, like there was designs out there that were blowing my mind when I first got into it. And since I got into it and um, stuff like that, the, the designs have just been elevated over and over and over again. So again, you can see where my green lines are from my, and these are basically just pleated, you know, they're just simple pleats. And then we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna take our line again, tie this bad boy off. And I think that well, what I'll do for these tutorial shirts is that whatever tutorial shirt I make um, for anybody who comments on the video and is subscribed to my channel um, will be entered to win that giveaway shirt so um, make sure you hit that subscribe channel turn your notifications on um, so that you're updated when I release a new video um, I will really appreciate it uh, being that I'm just starting out, it's going to really help grow this channel. All right, so now we have it just tied off at your your mark off lines that you you had, and from here, these are going to be each little sections up your spine, so you can go in and really intuitively tie those and fold them any which way you want. And you're going to really get some really fun designs. Um, so what I like to do is I'll just take my string 
and go right up one of the center of these pleats. And as I'm tying them off, I'll throw a little fold in there. And these ones I don't typically wrap three times. Um, this is just like one or two wraps and then I'll go to the next section. And I just go in and break up each pleat here um, and start tying them individually. This way you're getting more details with the string in more sections. Um, and you can't do this wrong. So just because I'm telling you this is how I do it doesn't mean you can't go off the cuff and experiment a little bit. Um, that's how new designs are born and new inspiration is had. Um, so feel free and I encourage and invite you all to try to throw your spin on, on one of these designs. Um, you know, I'm more than, I'm, I'd be honored if you made it exactly the same, but again, that's not my goal here is I want you guys to explore your creativity and experiment with what your soul is uh, telling you and communicating to you. Um, I really feel like tie-dye, each individual has its own energy signature uh, through the work. You know, there's a lot of intentions and stuff that get put into my work for healing, grounding, connecting with others, connecting with our true nature, um, which is found in the present moment. In my experience, uh, once I started embracing the present moment and embracing all of it, the good, the bad, um, the ugly of this world, uh, things got a lot lighter for me. So I encourage y'all to drop into the present moment and just listen to what your hands and your soul is telling you. Mine was telling me to make a YouTube channel and to share the knowledge and designs I'm currently working on. So I want to thank y'all for being here with me and supporting my art and my journey. I truly couldn't do this without any of y'all. And hopefully my YouTube videos and editing skills for these things um, improve. I'm sure they will with any repetition of anything, things get better. So it's another thing I want to stress is if your shirts don't look like mine right off the bat or uh, where you want to be with that particular design, um, this did not happen overnight for me. This is, I'm going on year five um, and I've, literally been doing it every single day um i mean there's been days i haven't touched it but for the past five years it's been a pretty um steady thing for those who don't know i run um psychedelic serenity avl on instagram and psychedelic serenity on facebook um and i've been doing that for five years now you can follow my journey on there i'll leave those links in the description as well and I think that's it. Um, we're gonna go on to the next section here. I'm just gonna tie that off. So the, that, that little totem section is finished now. We got it all wrapped up. And again, you can't do this wrong. So if it's not looking exactly like this, that's okay. Um, it's gonna look completely different depending on how you tie it. Um, so now we have the front, the top of the front, which is our mandala the back and now we have this little section of fabric here um, that is the bottom of the front half of the shirt and then the sleeve that we're gonna have to um, take care of so for the bottom half of this uh, of the front of the shirt you're basically just gonna get all origami on it or do it whatever you want really this is how I finish them off as I just start folding that excess material into patterns and again this is all intuitive and channeled information it's not something i'm thinking about doing kind of just letting the fabric and my hands flow and wherever it takes me i let them go look at me i'm a poet and didn't even know it thank god stop mark <laughs> anyways um and then from there we're gonna just try to pleat this up now now that i have a couple folds 
in this section, we're going to go ahead and end. And that's that. You're not going to be really able to see because it looks like a hot mess right now, and that's normal. So um, from there, you go ahead and grab your bow string. And this, again, is all intuitive um, tying. So really let go, play with different things that you can do, and see what you come up with. Maybe you guys will share something with me that I, I haven't found out yet. So. And at this point, everything should be pretty lined up, but you still have to make sure that the front end of your shirt doesn't come uncentered. You can know, you can see the collar here. And if that comes undone, the, the top of the shirt will be a little uncentered, but it, it won't be noticeable. And again, here's the mandala section. I'm gonna go in and put some more ties on that. I like to tie up the mandala section really good because that's where the focal point is. It's how you get all your details in there. So beautiful people i just wanted to say thank you for checking out this tutorial i really appreciate the love and support again this is a new channel so please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can get updates on the next tutorial i will be dyeing this in part two so you guys can see the dyeing process that goes along with this and um i love y'all i appreciate you being here um i left the link for everything that I mentioned in the description below. Please don't forget to tag me if you do um, venture into this tutorial. I'd love to see what y'all created. Um, it'll truly give me inspiration to provide you with more tutorials. So um, I love y'all. Peace.